Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, edit and delete. So let's go inside the resources, JS, pages, skills, index and here now I'm going to add a link for edit and another link to delete. We have the link here now inside. I want to add the link. I'm going to bind the shrift. And this is going to go to the road skills dot edit. We need to add the skill ID. So let's add skill dot ID. And I want to bind this because we use roads helper. Okay. We added the skill ID. Very good. Now let's add the class. And I'm going to say font medium this is going to be text blue 500 on hover the text is going to be blue 700 and I'm going to say margin right two for this one and let's say edit now copy and duplicate this this is going to be a road skills delete we add the skill id change the color to be red and also here we need to say delete but now we need to send a post request here a delete request and delete the skill and if you go to the inertia.js so let's say inertia.js.com with go to the links we have here method post or put patch delete as button and type button so let's do that for us here on the, de on the delete I'm going to say method to be delete as a button and type is going to be button okay let's save and let's see what we have refresh oh, we need to run the npm run dev okay and we have error i think go to the console skills is not in the yeah not skills delete but skills destroy okay refresh and we have something like this now if we go here skills 2 edit skills 3 edit and so on right now nothing happened because we don't have uh, in the controller skill controller let's remove this show we don't need that so on the edit we just say here the id and nothing return so let's instead of the id i'm going to add the road model binding so add a skill dollar sign scale like this and we need to return inertia render the component so let's say return inertia render and what we need to render a component but we don't have the edit component so let's go to the skills and inside the create i'm going to select all here copy and uh, or let's save this as edit view edit dot view okay and now in this scale controller we are going to render that so 
inside the skills slash we have this edit and we need to add the skill here so compact skill let's save it let's go to the edit and here we added a prop skill we need to define in our component so let's say define props and we have a skill which is an object okay let's go and let's refresh go to this, to this one and we have skills to edit and we need to assign this name with the skill name okay for that i'm going to create a props constant so const props it's going to be with define props and here now in, instead of a empty string i'm going to say props dot skill and if we have that skill i'm going to get the name the image is going to be null and yeah we have html okay the now we are not going to send form post because we are going to update the image and if you go to the file uploads as i said when we uploading files using a multi-part form data request is not natively support in some language for the put patch or delete so for those methods i'm going to use inertia we need to import the inertia first so let's go here and say import inertia from inertia js inertia okay and then instead of uh, this road i'm going to say so let's remove this and on the submit i'm going to say inertia we have imported that dot post and where we want to post that i'm going to add backticks and we need to post in the skills slash and i'm going to add the props dot skill dot id okay and here now i want to change the method for that is going to be all the so the method i'm going to override to be put like this and now the name is going to be the same so the name is going to be form dot name and the image is going to be form dot image okay and that's it what we want to change here also instead of new skill i'm going to say edit skill here and also in the title edit skill form is submit and i think everything is okay so if i save and let's go and refresh yeah everything is okay good now let's go here inside the controller skill controller for the update also i'm going to change this to be skill dollar sign skill and first of all i'm going to create the image variable to assign with dollar sign skill image so by default this image variable is assigning to the skill image which is the path of the image okay 
then I'm going to validate the name. We have only the name to be required when we update it. So let's say dollar sign request, validate, and I'm going to say name is going to be required. And also let's say minimum of uh, three characters. Okay. Then I'm going to check if we choose the image here. So if the request has file, if request has file and the name of the file is image, what we need to do? First, we need to delete the image belong to this skill and then reassign the image assign the image with a, a new uploaded image we are going to upload and assign this image with that one so i'm going to first delete that so storage and i'm going to say delete and add dollar sign skill image or we just say image because we have assigned the image here. And then I'm going to say down there, dollar sign image to be equal to the request file image store. And we need to add skills here as a folder. Now, if we have the image, this image has a new path. Okay, now that let's update the skill. So dollar sign skill. Update. And we need to update the name, which is going to be dollar sign request name. And the image is going to be if we have a new image or otherwise the same the skill has and let's return and redirect back to the admin to the skills index so return redirect And the road is skills.index. Okay. Let's save and let's see what we have here. Refresh. If I go to the skills and let's uh, edit the HTML. I'm going to say HTML1. And we need to change also this store. And as we can see, we have HTML1 here. So let's go to the edit and the form button of the form we have store let's change this to be update okay edit this again we have update here and let's remove the one update yeah now let's change the image i'm going to change the image so let's add laravel for example here and i'm going also to change back the name so okay. right now we are going to change name and image click update and as you can see the name is changed and also the image and let's now fix back what we need here yeah, we need the html click update and everything works correctly now let's work with the delete so we send the when we click we send the request to the destroy method here let's just add skill dollar sign skill okay and what we need to do here first we need to delete the image belong to this skill and then delete the skill and redirect back so first i'm going to copy this redirect Oh no, we just need to redirect back. 
So let's delete the image and I'm going to copy this one. Storage, delete, skill image, then skill, delete. And then let's return redirect back. Okay, save. And let's come here and refresh. Now I'm going to delete this next JS. And as you can see, the next JS is no longer here. And of course, if I go inside the storage app public skills one two three four five six seven eight nine and why we have them so let's see what we have laravel react and oh, we have two laravels here three but we don't have the, the, the next JS. Okay, now let's go and create that next next JS. So next JS again, let's choose the file. Next JS PNG and say store. And we have that here. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.